Okay guys, uh, today we're going over 3D camera tracking in After Effects and uh, what, recently I got to work with a client and they drive these things called Benny Skid Steers and it's basically like a mini bulldozer that you get to drive around. So I got the chance to add some graphic text along the ground and it goes with the, uh, the tracks on the actual uh, machine. So let's take a look real quick at what we're going to be doing today. All right, now we're back in After Effects. So uh, go ahead and get your clip. What you wanna do is create a new composition. So I've got this uh, 3D camera tracking composition set up and we'll just go ahead and do that from scratch. Let's close this. I'm gonna take my footage here and drag it here to the composition and it'll create it for me. And then I'm going to hit enter and we'll do 3D camera tracking. Okay, let me move this down here. All right, so basically what I did was I went through this footage and I grabbed the good part that I wanted to use. So we'll go ahead and let's see about right here. So control shift D will cut that and I can get rid of this one, move this over. And I would like to have up until about right there. So let's go ahead and bring this back here. All right, so the, what we're gonna be working with is this little section right there, okay? So what I would like to do first, and I'm gonna end this so it doesn't continue to try and play. Uh, what we wanna do first is create a null object, and what that allows us to do, if we go to layer, new, and null, it's a long keyboard shortcut, so it's easier just to do that. Uh, what you can do is have your layers connect with this null to do whatever the null is doing. So what we'll do is we'll track the footage, we'll apply the keyframes to the null, and then we can uh, use that for text or whatever we'd like. Um, this is really good if you're trying to take an object and move it across the screen. You can apply the keyframes to the null and then just move the null wherever you'd like, um, and then you can. it'll help you to track the object a little bit better. So let's go to track camera on this footage, and it's gonna analyze. The good thing about the tracking is you, it'll analyze in the background. You can still do whatever you'd like in After Effects. You can go between layers. If you had another composition, you could go into it and work. Um, but for this one, we're just gonna let it go. It looks like we're at a frame 15 of 63. So I don't have too many frames to go through. Um, now, depending on your computer, it may take quite a long time to do this. I have a four gig graphics card, so it's pretty good on speed. It could be faster, but uh, this one shouldn't take too long. So now it's solving the camera. And what this does is put little points from the camera. So let me scroll through and see if I see any. I don't see any. You may have to take your track point size and increase it just a little bit to see those. But let's go ahead and scrub and you can see that it's put track points on the clip there. So what I wanna do is I wanna find some where I can get about three of them uh, for the most stable position and I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to create text in camera. So what that does is it creates a camera and a text layer that will move with the scene. So we can see the text is rolling with it. Now what we want to do is we want to make it look as real as possible. So if we bring it forward a little bit, we're going to take our text and we can move it wherever we want. So move it back and forth. You can move it up and down. Okay, so I'm gonna move it around here. I'm gonna to go to the rotation and we're gonna rotate on the X axis to bring it back. And then we'll, let's see, move it up just a little bit. And then there's also the X axis here so we can move it back and forth. If you hold shift, it'll allow it to move a lot faster. So let's uh, rotate it a little bit more on the Y and then rotate it this way. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is line it up with the tracks here. And so I'm gonna move it around, make it look like it's on the ground. So we'll pan through our footage here and see what that looks like. So it looks pretty good. It looks like it's riding on the text. One thing that we can do to kind of sell it is, first off, put the text that we wanna say. So we'll put Control T and in this case, we put rubber tracks. Now this is pretty, computer intensive so uh, you might have to you know change your resolution or do something else uh, so now that we've got this we can see it just needs to be rotated a little bit more so let's take this Z I'll try to do this a little manually let's try 10 
Okay. And then we'll take the layer. We'll go to character. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And that means I need to bring it down just a tiny bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I want to bring it back just a little bit here too. So we can see it as it's driving. And you're just going to need to make some adjustments here. So you, if you take it down too far, it might make it look like it's a little bit further away. But in this case, we're going to need to pan back and forth and see. Okay, so you get the idea. Now, what I did was I wanted to change the color of my text uh, to match the kind of ground to make it blend in. So I can use the picker here and I'll pick a green. And then I use some blend modes to see what looked best on the ground. So if I go forward, let's go to toggle switches, mode, and we'll try overlay. So see how it makes it look like it's blending into the ground. So we can do lighten, do a couple of these. I like color dodge a lot of times, but we may need to change the color here. So let's go ahead and stick with this one. This is kind of similar to my original one. And then we can take the transparency down a little bit and make it look like it's in there. So that looks like it's a little hard to see. So let's change the color. So we'll do that. And so you get the idea here. So what you wanna do is just play through your footage and make sure it looks pretty smooth. I think that looks pretty good. So it's just gonna play over and over. Um, I mean, of course there could be more adjustments to this, but this is a really great way to get words on the screen with moving text. And um, if you're familiar with motion tracking, it's a little different because you actually track the camera. So uh, real quick before I let you go, I want to show you if we go to the uh, actual footage and go to the effect controls, on the camera tractor, you have a couple different shot types. Um, you can change this if you have like a specific angle you're filming from on a tripod. Uh, and you can also show the track points if you have, you know, 2D, if you want to look at it from a different source. Uh, but I usually do the 3D solved and it seems to work a little bit better. Don't forget about your track point size. And then uh, you can also go into the advanced and use this detailed analysis. That's really good if you have really jumpy footage or if you're just getting having a hard time tracking uh, what you're looking for. So I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.